Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. What are we making, Maria? Zucchini chocolate chip muffins, but there's only that many chocolate chips. That's all I I'm got there. it. Thank you, Joe. Yep. We're a little low on chocolate chips, but that's okay. We're still going to make zucchini chocolate chip muffins, even though it's oh, yeah. actually cranberry season, right? We should be making cranberry stuff right now. Yep. Yeah. But I had one last zucchini that had been sitting on the counter. I wasn't sure if it was dried out or not, and I cut it open. It was still perfectly good. I just quick shredded it up, and we are going to use it up this morning. Good uh, morning, Joe. No, how is this child? A child? Yeah. What about a child? Are you a child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Buzz a child. Oh, I see. What is today, Joe? It's Buzz. It's Buzz. Like your best friend, Joe. What? Listen to Maria. What is today? Oh, trick or treating. What? Trick or treating. Trick or treating today. Trick or treating. Are you guys excited? Yes. This is what I want. We already have our Halloween baskets. Halloween baskets. We already got them out from the basement, didn't we? Mm hmm. Awesome. Okay, let's get I'm going on these. Witch. Yes, let's get going on these muffins because the hunters are going to be in, in anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes, and we want to get these muffins ready. Here's a can of eggs. Almond juice. Okay, so we need a whole can. Can I crack the eggs? Uh, yes. I want to use the ones used from chickens. Uh -huh. We're going to need two and eggs. Brown eggs. A whistle, Joe. Yeah. That's my whistle. That's mine. I, I love that. Zucchini chocolate chip muffins are so good. So good. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 And we still need to put in two teaspoons of baking soda. Mm -hmm. Dough. Dump in all the chocolate chips. Yeah. Great. What we want to do is we want to make sure we get it on the sides and everything. Okay. <clears throat> See how I'm kind of doing that? Sometimes it even helps to hold this up. You gotta make sure you kind of get it all the way around like that. Yep, make sure you push it nice and hard. There you go. Mm -hmm. Why is this in Sam's room? Probably because Joe was in there. Maybe he thought the harmonica was a treat. So we just blew on it. How much a spoon? Yep, when we're all and done. A bowl. When we're all done. Hey, Joseph, did you collect dirty laundry yet? Mm -hmm. Did you? Not yet? Okay, well I need you to get that done. Well, I've been just working on getting the little kids to kind of get their things done. Peter is someplace here, right? Unloading the dishwasher over there. There he is. Hi. You need a haircut. I think I said that in a video like a month ago. <laughs> right? I think so. <laughs> okay, so making some breakfast here too. Got the muffins in. Ooh, there's only three minutes left on the muffins. That was fast. So just making some uh, hash browns. We got some sausages going over here. And then pretty soon, I think I'm going to start on making some eggs too. It's been a while since I made the house blue, but it's a little blue in here today, isn't it? <laughs> what? Not too bad. Not, well, I opened up a window, but I got to talking, the house. right? <laughs> And burnt the hash browns. <laughs> Nothing new. A close shot on that. A close shot on a burnt hash brown. Uh, focus. Put your hand behind it. Come on, you got. Aren't you a beauty vlogger over here? Uh -uh. Uh -huh. There we go. Nice burnt hash brown. Oh, it still tastes good. <laughs> well, good. All right, it uh, is now 11.30. Uh, I don't know, this day has just been no. weird. It feels like it should be afternoon, but it's no, still no. not even no. lunch. Okay, hello, hello. No. <laughs> but what we're no. doing right now is we're working through another box of apples. Hello. Hello. Uh, right, 
there. So there's another. Hey, okay, Noah. <laughs> Joseph. We're gonna turn all of it into applesauce. And then I also am gonna bring in like another dozen of, you know, I always look for like the absolute nicest apples, wash those up, and put them into the fruit bowl. Hey. That's what we're gonna be working on right now. I'm pretty sure that I already did a video on applesauce here, but yeah, I just have my big, great big pot here. I have water in there, and then I just put in a little bit of lemon juice. Well, I mean, honestly, I probably put in about a quarter cup of lemon juice. I'm just going to fill this up with apples and cook it down, and then we're going to run it through the food mill today. After I'm done washing this box of apples, I'm going to the tire swing. You're going to go to the tire swing? Yep. And see Ew. if I can call Sophie. Okay. That yep, that sounds good. We're I just going to do see. one box today. That's it. So as soon as that box is all washed up, you guys are Am good I to go. I this called Noah. Yep. We're going to see Noah today, too, when we go trick-or-treating. Okay, sometimes things go better than other times, like... A little too much apple today. <laughs> At least it's just a little one. We'll get that cleaned up. But this is what I use. I use this. Um, mine is Back to Basics brand just because that was what they had at like the natural food store back in probably 1998 or 99, I would guess. Maybe even earlier than that. Um, anyway, that was the brand that they had there, and that's what I bought. I know if you look at Amazon, they have other brands now. Uh, I know Emily has one. I don't know what her brand is. Maybe like American Harvester or something. Anyway, these work great for making applesauce. I make my cranberry sauce this way. And just crank away. And there's an auger down in here, and it pulls the apples or whatever food you have in there. And then it out from here is where like the seeds, the skins, whatever like that goes that direction. And then all of the sauce and juice goes this direction. So I use this for tomatoes and apples and cranberry sauce. Sometimes when I do blackberry jam, I also have done this. Strawberry jam, salsa I've done through here if I wanted like a really, really fine, fine, um, like kind of grained salsa. Uh, yeah, so it works really, really well. Okay, so it is 1.15 right now. I'm hoping, <laughs> my original plan was I was really, really hoping to have all of the Apple stuff wrapped up by two o'clock because I have a lot of editing. So today is, well, you guys know it's Halloween. It's October 31st and I have yet, and this is just YouTuber problems, <laughs> I have yet to get anything off of my camera cards from the entire month of October. So I was really, really hoping today to do a really big um, photo and uh, video dump onto my computer today and just kind of get all my videos kind of in order and stuff like that so I knew what I had to be editing this week because I want to get those videos out to you guys so bad right now. Uh, I really want to be current. That's always my desire and I thought whoever it was that mentioned uh, putting dates into my uh, videos, I thought that was a great idea. I do find it sometimes important when you're doing like daily vlogs to kind of just know a little bit of like timeline when it's snowing like when in Wisconsin was it snowing what was the date that kind of thing anyway okay I had only two full kettles of apples this time this is the second one and it's getting close to being ready to go into the food mill uh, Maria she helped me she was such a big help she's like I want to help with something can I cut apples just was not comfortable with her doing that, but uh, I let her fill all the jars. So she knew, or I told her, one inch head space, and she did that. So now I'm just waiting for my, um, my water bath canner to get hot enough so that I can get these jars in there because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I have one full load for the um, canner right now, and then I'm going to have three more jars, and then after that... Well, before I get that out, well, after that, I'm going to be freezing applesauce. So that's my uh, vinegar paper towel there. Okay, but do you remember the other day, the color of our applesauce? It was so dark. It was just like a dark, dark pink. 
Now today, this variety of apples, um, you know, just provides just this really pretty blush colored applesauce and it's really sweet. I don't add any sugar. It's so incredibly sweet. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Seeing that we are in a difficult time to get canning supplies and where I'm at right now, once I have these jars filled, this will be my last of my uh, regular mouth lids. And so I have lots more wide mouth lids, but I don't have any more empty wide mouth jars. And I have a lot more regular mouth jars, but I don't have any more regular mouth lids. <laughs> so I'm in kind of a funny predicament here canning wise, but I thought, you know what? I did a lot of canning of applesauce in ice cream pails they are over there right now but I thought you know that takes a long time uh, for an ice cream pail to thaw when it's full of applesauce and I thought this would be kind of a nice thing to do so I picked this up I just ordered these on Amazon or I will link to these uh, and you can go check them out if you're interested but it says special formulated freezable polypropylene extreme freeze ready tainer BPA free 32 ounce so these are you know one uh, quart. This is like equivalent to a quart jar. That's what I'm going to do is just start filling freezer containers. So I did only get one of these. So this is 24 in here, I believe, right? So a pack of 24. So I just wanted to try those out, let you guys know that's what's going to be going down here today. What are you doing? Eating applesauce. <laughs> You're eating applesauce. <laughs> hmm. Is it tasty? I bet. Really good. Really good. This is coming out just perfect. So I just estimated here that we would have four more quarts in our bowls of applesauce. And look at that. We did. I, yeah, we did. I hope that this would be a good headspace for freezing. <laughs> I figured that line that was kind of in here, I kind of figured maybe that was what they're suggesting as a headspace when freezing. So that's what we're going to do. Hello, Joe. It's been a while since I've seen you. I don't know. You don't know? Were you outside playing? I don't know. That's so laugh it. What? That's so laugh. Hmm. What was that about? I don't know. I don't know. Partridge wing clippers. Does anybody yes. know what that is? Yep, those are the like the butchering scissors. That's what Peter just came in for. Warren was just out and he got two more grouse. So you guys get to have like uh, partridge bites for lunch, huh? Wouldn't that be good? Sam. Where are you going? Yes. Come talk to us. What do you want to know? I want to know how your uh, looking for a job went. Uh, it was good. Yeah? Um, so... You can't tell me the name. Something. Yeah, don't lose that. So, I applied at a local power sports power sports dealer. Yeah. Um, and you, on the phone, you said it sounded kind of promising? Yeah. I talked to the, like, the main sales guy. Yeah? Like, what's, what's the name of your restaurant? Strictly Wild Game. You kill it, we grill it. <laughs> awesome. Or fry it. Yeah. <laughs> so they're having, they're having uh, partridge bites again, or partridge strips. Is yeah. that what you call them? Partridge strips. Or partridge bites. A couple of these were just shot before. So this yep, is today. kind of what goes down. I was in the house doing all the applesauce. Warren was outside doing all the things that he does outside. And I now was actually, he's in. <laughs> I was actually uh, stacking the bulkhead boards and setting the muskrat traps yes, in the bulkheads. Okay, and then okay. a little bit of hunting. And now I'm running back to the bedroom to start. I have to start editing video and he's out here doing a little cooking. With Peter. With Peter. <laughs> so, all right, they look really, really good. Are they fair game or are they they're too fair hot? fair game, but they just came out, so they're okay. hot. Okay, all right, well, I'll wait a minute. I'm still downloading video. All right.
I've been just editing and I actually had two grocery hauls to edit for you guys. So that should be exciting here soon. By the time this comes out, you'll have already seen those. Okay, so I'm looking at the thermometer here because it's about 20 to five. Our trick-or-treating starts at 5.30 and it's 55 degrees. It's probably the warmest it's been in years for trick-or-treating, but still, I'm at that point in my day where I have to try to convince little children to put on warm clothes with their Halloween costumes. But mom, if we put on a coat, then nobody can see our costume. It's the age old dilemma when you live in a Northern climate where it is cold for trick or treating. So, all right, so I'm gonna try to um, convince them and try to work with them at getting like maybe some long underwear on at least because you know, the temperature is gonna start marching down. Although, yeah, it's not as cold as it has been last year. I don't even remember, but I just know that we've had a lot of years with winter caps, gloves, boots, long underwear, the whole thing. So, okay, um, that's what I'm gonna be working on. And when I check back in, everybody will be in their costume. So that should be fun. That's a big pumpkin. This is great. Yeah. This is great. Surprise, pumpkin. I, 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 Thank you. 